moving. Um, I hope you're all doing well on this lovely Thursday. We're one more day away from the weekend, so that's awesome. Um, we're going to continue talking about biomes and biodiversity and climate today. Um, so after today's lesson, I want you to be able to explain different connections within a biome. So how the plants and the animals and the climate and the biodiversity all work together to create these things called biomes that we've been talking about. Um, so I know kind of last week we were talking about um, land biomes and water biomes and this week we've kind of talked about some of the different components of that such as climate and biodiversity. So today rather than introducing new words and stuff we're kind of just going to tie everything together um, as a review day and give you guys an opportunity to kind of let this information settle with you and sit with you for a while. So for our opener for today, I would like you to list two examples of biotic factors in an ecosystem. So this can be any biotic factors in an ecosystem. And what do I mean by biotic? Living, that's right. So the living factors of an ecosystem. All right, and like I said earlier, we're not gonna do any vocab today. So our previous two days vocab, we had climate and biodiversity, um, and we're gonna leave it there. Uh, so today, the goal for you today, like I said earlier, is to be able to make the connections between different biomes and how those things work together. Um, so what you will be doing is you'll be completing an interactive online activity. We're calling it an ecology lab. And even though we're not in class, it's still considered a science lab, so that's awesome. But after you guys complete that activity, what I'd like for you to do is write the levels of organization and an example of each. So in the activity, it's gonna show you the different levels of organization. I need you to write those down and give me an example of each. In addition, I need you to complete the three column tables for producers, consumers, and decomposers. And this will all be already pre-made for you in the Google Doc. So you just kind of need to fill it out with the information that you learned in that document. I've already made a copy for you and it's there for your access. So again, you're going to be writing the levels of organization. You're going to give an example of each. And then finally, you're going to complete the three column table for producers, consumers, and decomposers. Um, as always, if you have any questions about that, please email me, comment in Google Classroom, whatever you need to do to get in contact with me. Uh, since it is Thursday, I will have two live sessions. So the first one will be at 10.30, and the second one will be at 1 o'clock for those of you that are sleeping late, um, which is good for you if you're sleeping late. Um, so either of those, you can bring your questions, but we will go over this lesson again. Um, Miss Harvey and I have kind of been going back and forth and doing a whiteboard while she talks and vice versa. So um, it's kind of helpful because we walk through the videos and we're gonna walk through the lab for this one. So if you need some help and you're getting stuck on certain things, this is a perfect time for you to ask questions. Plus, I really miss you guys. So I would like to see some of your faces. I've seen a lot of you, but I haven't seen all of you yet, and my goal is to see each one of you at least once. So please stop into the live session because I would love to see you. Um, back on our work note. So after you've completed that work, please make sure you submit your Google document, and we'll go ahead and move on to our closer for today. So our closer for today is to explain two interactions within a biome and identify the vocab word that describes this interaction of organisms. So let me break that down for you a little bit. Explain two interactions within a biome. For example, a bird eats a plant. And identify the vocabulary word that describes this interaction of organisms. So what word would we use to describe a bird eating a plant? That's what I'm looking for, okay? It doesn't have to be that example. That's just an example I'm giving you. Um, 
So it could be that a, let me think of a good one, um, a salamander in the desert, maybe the salamander changes skin to camouflage with the desert, and this would be an example of biodiversity. Or maybe a cactus grows in the desert due to a certain climate. That would be climate. All right, so please go ahead and write your answers on that Google document and make sure to submit that to me. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing some of you at the live sessions today. And if not, maybe at one another day. So have a happy Thursday and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.